Hey guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. My name is Amlola and this is just the right channel for you. I want to say a big thank you to all of you that took a time to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. God bless you. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, like my video, turn on post notification and tell me something great at the comment section. Without further ado, let's just get right into what I have for you guys today. Melissa and Millie. Hmm. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of what happened during the Saturday night party of yesterday. Yesterday's party was a bomb. I really enjoyed myself. Like, I was literally dancing at a point in time. I forgot that, damn it, you need to analyze this party. I'm so sorry, guys. But I, I got engrossed with the party. Like, the DJ that they brought in yesterday, DJ Exclusive. Hmm. That guy came with no excuses. That guy delivered fantastically well. I, everything back to back was a hit. I'm telling you guys, like, it did not leave anything out at all. And the fact that I was able to mix both South African songs and Nigerian songs, everything together, I'm so sorry, but the DJ that came last time, mmm, 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 compared to DJ Exclusive, did not do anything at all. So DJ Exclusive delivered fantastically well. I enjoyed myself. The people that gave me um, some goosebumps yesterday on the dance floor that I can't say, okay, I paid attention to because I said I was dancing, right? Tati and Kanaga. Tati and Kanaga. Guys, those two people are making me love them already. I love those two. Those couple are great. They are beautiful to watch. They are super amazing. I love the old chopping leaves that were happening between both of them yesterday. It was just super great. I think out of all the shit in the house, the people I can say there is no triangle or rectangle or circle is Tati and Kanaga. Those two are just meant for each other. If you love Tati and Kanaga, you're supposed to be following this channel. If you love Tati and Kanaga, drop a like. Like this video drop a comment say something about them at the comment section okay so straight up to Melly and Nelisa so I for a person thought Nelisa and Tabag are kind of the same like they are you know into each other and I thought Melly and Sandra are an item so I was so surprised when I saw what happened yesterday after the party Nelisa was taking um Apple or I feel like she was a bit tipsy. Maybe she was not herself. So that was why she was doing what she was doing I don't even know. Tabang on the other hand For some reason was not really 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 in a very sharp mood So he was just having conversation with Christian. Christian was just dissing him about Yemi 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 guys this Yemi cracks matter. It's already tiring like the drama know they finish is always happening at every point in time and Kosi doesn't seem to be tired of the sky so Kosi is like the Yaole and Blue Iva is like the side chick like the Yao side chick that kind of thing they will all be fine if they are more just about them trust me I'm gonna bring it to your table I'm gonna bring it to your table today is about Meili and Nelisa I don't think I've ever spoken about this two before I don't think so so I need to give them you know time right they deserve it so Millie and Melissa after the party yesterday they were seen together under a duvet not inside the room outside in the garden having a conversation and Millie doesn't have a bed remember it was the HOH before Ipe Leng and Black Boy became the HOH. It was the HOH. So then it was inside the HOH room. So it does not have a bed. It does not have a bed because, I mean, the new housemate that came in already took the bed. So it literally does not have a bed. So it was saying that, okay, maybe it might end up sleeping on Luke's bed or Ipleng's bed or anybody's bed that is vacant. So Nelisa was like, why don't you come to my bed and sleep? I don't know if she's seen it out of the fact that she was tipsy or she really means it. I don't know. I, I really cannot say. So, um, Millie was like, are you sure you want me to sleep on your bed? She's like, yes, of course. I really, really want you to sleep on my bed. Like, I want so much from you on that bed. I'm like, oh, wow. This is getting interesting. I want you to sleep on my bed. Are you sure? Yes. Really? I'm surprised because I thought Melissa and Tabak 
are a thing. So like seeing this happening, like I don't I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. So before you know it, Baba and Elisa entered at the duvet, covered themselves, and they started chopping leaves. They were literally chopping leaves, guys. I didn't see that coming. I expected that from Tabank and Elisa. So I'm surprised. Like I don't get it. I don't. Koyeni, I don't. You see this house, eh? This house, these baby titans people, eh? <laughs> the only people I know that they are they are a bit okay, they are normal, is Tati and Kanaga. Tati and Kanaga. I'm serious. For now, Tati and Kanaga. So after that, they did not stop there. They now moved to the room. Inside the room, it is obvious Melissa wants so much from Meli. And I feel like Meli is trying to be a gentleman at the same time, but at the same time, he's trying to be like, you know what, let's just let's just vibe, let's just have fun, let's just enjoy ourselves. And Sandra could see everything that is happening, and Sandra was not having it at all. Sandra already called Meli immediately after the party and then tried to have a conversation with Meli. She's like, she has been hearing that there's something going on between him and Melissa. I mean, I never see it. I never, even, I don't notice it because I, I always see Melissa with her bank. I never even see it. So she's like, she's tired. She, she can't deal. Like, what's up? What's going on? Let me know what's up. And he couldn't really say anything. I don't know why. He just left Sandra. And Melissa um, came to all Sandra. Melissa had the like that cute baby. And Sandra accepted her well. Asanda was there, very, very angry, like so, so angry that it seems Elisa is trying to take him away from her. Sandra, on the other hand, is that kind of girl that I feel like she came to that house to come and scatter ships. I don't know if she's going to be a lovely, lovely baby, like someone that's going to be, you know, want to get into a, really, a serious relationship, want to get into something serious. I didn't see that coming. I don't know. It's this house me then. Like I said, I don't understand them. They confuse me a lot most of the times. So Sandra is really angry. Sandra was telling Blue Eva that she's very angry. She doesn't like the fact that since Millie is trying to play her and she's not cool with it. She came into that house to win a hundred thousand dollars and she's just going to do that. So she's going to like forget about Millie. She's not even going to talk to Millie again. <laughs> On to Nelisa's drama. Nelisa and Millie were sitting on the bed inside the room later on. You know doing some things some things few moments later lisa was seen with a good night <laughs> so that means they not they not they had the first round and they wanted to do the second round and she had to go bring the if you know what i mean if you know what i mean guys okay so um, I'm gonna say that um, kudos to Melissa. This is something she was able to get from Meili, and Sandra could not get it from Meili easily like that. Just like that. Just like that in one night. Hmm. All the best to them, oh, all the best to them. So it is official, Meili and Melissa. Not. They enjoy themselves. They should continue. Now I'll just be here giving you guys this. But what do you guys think about Melissa and Meili? What do you guys think about? Melissa as a person, what do you guys think about um, Sandra? Do you guys think that Melissa is being strategic, like she came into the house with strategy to spoil ships, to scatter people's relationship, to get involved with people's relationship? Because I mean, um, at a point in time, Kosi had an issue with Melissa because of Yemi Craig. So let me know what you guys think about um, Melissa and also what you think about Meili as a person in the house. Drop your comments at the comment section. That's all I have for you guys for now. Many more are to come. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, turn on post notifications, and tell me something great at the comment section. I love you all. See ya. Bye.